All right, so a while back I made this video called Hillbilly Body Armor, where I tested some homemade body armor that I made out of three PEI grade five floor tiles and a whole can of Herculiner. The good news is it worked great. It stopped 762 by 39, 223, and a whole mess of 40 Smith & Wesson. The bad news is a can of Herculiner costs like 50 bucks. Recently, the Wound Channel and Royal Nunsuch both produced their own homemade body armor videos which inspired me to try again and see if I could do a little cheaper. So this is what I came up with. I used some cheaper grade 4 floor tiles, some liquid nails, and some 28 gauge sheet steel. Well, that was not successful. Well, actually, maybe it kind of was. Eh, no. Went right through there. Okay. Nothing. Nothing there. Let me see if he'll stop another one. Yeah, stopped all of them. Looks like this one almost got through. That's it. I like that smell. There's one jacket. There's a bullet. Oh, nice. Look at that one.
as you can see, the result wasn't that great. It didn't stop the 223, but it did stop some 40 caliber. Now, on the other hand, it cost a lot less than what I spent on it before. But I'm thinking we can spend even less and have even better effect. Now, Royal Nonsuch made some homemade body armor that probably cost less than what I just made, but I didn't see him test with rifle ammunition. The Wound Channel made some homemade body armor that did stop rifle ammunition, but it also used an actual Kevlar body armor panel, which you can't exactly find at Home Depot. So I'm thinking that between the three of us, we can probably come up with something that's cheaper, lighter, and more effective. And part of the reason I'm so excited about this project is the idea that if they were to ever ban body armor or whatnot, a person could just go down to a hardware store, or maybe even using some of the materials in their own garage, put together something that could actually stop common projectiles. I would like it to at least stop intermediate rifle cartridges like 223 and 7.62x39. If it can stop more, great. It shouldn't weigh any more than 15 pounds, and it shouldn't cost any more than $50. But I think we can do a lot better than that on both counts. I'd like to see what you guys can come up with. Let me know what you think. 